Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for August 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to make a big old shout out to the Leos out there. Happy, happy birthday to you. We are in Leo season right now. And I want to make a big old shout out to the August Virgos out there. Yeah, happy birthday to you guys as well. So I am back to my old format. Um, I have one central intro that I have recorded for everybody that everybody's going to see the same old thing and then we'll get into the reading yes so you will find a timestamp in the comments section that's pinned at the very top that will take you to the beginning of the actual reading so if you're watching multiple videos and you don't want to watch the intro over and over again you can use that timestamp I do recommend that you watch it at least once just so that you can get the general information may clear up some questions you may have yeah so I would love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. You can find the links to my, my social media accounts, both Instagram and Facebook, in the description box below. But Instagram is at divine underscore conversations. And Facebook is facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. Yes, which is very similar to my actual email address. All right. These are a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below, including the readings that I offer. So just read through that and then hit me up. Let me know which reading you would like. If you can't decide if, or if you have trouble, go ahead and email me anyway and describe the situation a little bit and I will absolutely help you choose. Yeah. If you would like to get a, a personal reading, um, I do recommend that you reach out either via email or at the very least through Instagram. Um, I don't recommend that you send me a message on Facebook because I do not always get those right away. I, I've noticed that I, oh, first of all, I don't get a notification from Facebook saying that I have um, messages on that page. Um, so often when I find them, it's like, maybe sometimes days later. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so for those of you that kind of missed out or got lost or something, I apologize for that. But Facebook isn't the best way to reach out to me. You can reach out on Instagram. I do get those notifications and I do see that. I, I do check that more often. But ultimately, I'm really just going to send you to email. All right. So you might as well just, you know, cut the extra steps and just email me. Okay. Because that's really where I handle all of the personal readings. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So yes, this is a message coming through that's dated for August of 2019, but it does not have to resonate now. We could be talking about a situation that happened months prior, or we could talk about something that could be coming on months in advance. I do recommend that maybe you check in maybe at the, at the end of the month if you are catching this towards the beginning of the month to see if it resonates for you. But either way, or to see how it resonates for you, but either way, whenever you watch the video and it resonates at that time, then that is the message for you at that time, regardless of the date. Also, keep in mind that for the cross watchers out there, I am speaking directly to the zodiac sign in question, okay? But if you're watching the reading and it's resonating for you, then take that message. Okay. So what I may be saying for the Zodiac sign in question, let's say Aries or Leo, and you don't have that placement or you're not looking at it because you have Aries or Leo in your chart. And yet what I'm saying is resonating for you. Then maybe that message is in fact for the cross watcher and not the actual Zodiac sign in question. Again, it's a general reading. Take it as it resonates, but also please do not try to fit something into your life or into the, the situation that doesn't fit already. Like if you're watching and you're saying to yourself, Hmm, he's saying this, but that really doesn't resonate with my situation. Then let it go. Don't take it. Okay. Cause that means it's just not a message for you again general reading yeah okay um i guess that's it so with that said why don't we get started to, with the reading yeah <laughs> hey there libra welcome to your reading for august 2019 thank you so much for tuning in so let's just dive right into it libra look at all of these cards i have here this is your pre-shuffle <laughs> okay um <clears throat> okay as I was channeling your energy, I was hearing the scales are balanced and it's coming into fruition. But that's a struggle for you, it looks like. Um, the first card that came out here is the strength card, all right? Um, having to, and I was hearing having to find your inner strength, which is 
fairly difficult at this time. You have the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a Leo with the Strength card or a Cancerian with the Queen of Cups or another water sign, Pisces or Scorpio. You might have any of those in your chart, okay? Um, but there seems to have been some sort of missed opportunity. I am hearing unrequited love. And Libra, I feel like whether you're a man or a woman, um, whether you're masculine or feminine, like energetically speaking, whatever, whichever one you resonate more with, I feel like you're super emotional right now in regards to this situation here. But there is a deep lesson that needs to be learned. Seven of Pentacles, all right? There is a, there is a, uh, I just heard tragedy, okay? Maybe you lost, you might've lost someone, you might've lost a fam family member. We do have the death card here, um, but it doesn't have to be that. Uh, this tragedy could just be a, a lost loved one in the terms of like a lost relationship. It feels like this is a lost relationship. And this is something that is really affecting you hard, but it's hitting you down to your core, Libra. You have death with the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Hanged Man, the Moon, and the Empress. The masculine here, we could be dealing masculine and feminine counterparts, man or woman, or just energetically, but it doesn't actually have to be that. Interestingly enough, what I'm feeling here is that it, 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 the, the, the energetic identification doesn't really matter the most. Oh, well, I guess it does. I don't know. I, I don't know. It just feels like uh, there's a transformation that's happening in terms of some sort of relationship between you and someone else. The other person, the, the king of pentacles is this other person. Okay, now this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, and it, it could go either way. So either I'm talking to the Libran or I'm talking to the cross watcher who's watching for a Libra. But somebody is in their feels, hunty, all up in their feels, and is trying really, probably trying pretty hard to get it, to keep it together, or maybe your advice is that you need to really work on keeping it together. But the other person here is the King of Pentacles energy who is very focused on materialism. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio. The King of Pentacles here could be Taurus, maybe another Earth sign, Virgo or Capricorn. All right, but it's like it's like somebody finally realized it. Ace of Swords. Somebody finally somebody finally realized what was up. Somebody finally realized that someone was more into the finances, the money, the status, the opulence. I just heard the possessions more. They were more than they were about being in this relationship with somebody. Okay. But that threw someone into a frenzy here. You could be dealing with a Pisces or, again, another Cancerian. You do have the Hanged Man and the Moon here. All right, and then the Empress. So this puts you in a really tough state. You felt stuck. You felt stagnant. You didn't know what the hell you were going to do. You were surrounded by fear and illusion. It probably threw you into a dark night of the soul. You might still be in this dark night of the soul energy. But regardless, you're coming out on top with the Empress energy, because the Empress energy, I feel like is you rising above this and understanding that this is not the end for you. This is not the end all be all. Even if you felt like this person was the, 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 the person you were gonna spend the rest of your life with and blah, 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 and then everything just crashed and burned, there are plenty of opportunities around there, out there for you. But in order for you to really get the most out of this situation and manifest an opportunity that is much better for you, you've got to do the rebuilding, the inner work, three of pentacles. Everything that you have been experiencing, Libra, in terms of this situation, if this is resonating with you, is all in service of betterment, yourself, self-betterment, okay? Self-improvement, self-mastery, yes? So that is a, a message that's heavily um, uh, geared or, or um, intended for the feminines here. Whether you're a man or a woman physically, it really does not matter. We're just talking energy, guys, all right? But this is allowing you to really step into more of that divine feminine energy and to really, oh, I just heard, step your game up. Hey. Okay, Libra, this is beautiful. And yeah, you're right. It sucks. It hurts like a bitch. But you know what? You can do it. You absolutely can do it. What just, oh, the Page of Cups. You definitely can do it. There might be some sort of, ooh, judgment. There might be some sort of reconciliation that wants to come through here. But also, this could be just an emotional new start. You know? Building yourself up emotionally. Fortifying yourself from the ground up. 
I love it, Libra. All right, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we're gonna get into the rest of your reading here. All right, here we go, kids. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Librans, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August, 2019. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Libra, I'm gonna give this five shuffles. Now, I am seeing a hell of a lot of yellow here for you. Underneath that yellow is pink and purple. I'm also hearing green and blue, but the strongest colors I'm seeing are yellow, pink, and purple. There is illumination that's happening here for you. There's divine wisdom that's coming in and divine love, unconditional love, which also is influencing you to generate self-love. Yes? Five shuffles, here we go, Libra. For your month of August, 2019, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, best messages, please, spirit. For Libra, that's two. This is three. Four. And five. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2019, y'all. All right. Let's cut this bad boy and see what we've got for you. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Libra. You've got, ooh, wee. That's fitting. The tower. <laughs> but this is a good thing, Libra. Please do not be afraid. Everything that you were going, like I said, Everything that you are going through right now is all in service of your own betterment, all right? It's for the best. You just, I know that that's hard to handle. That's a hard message to, to, to take in. That's a tough pill to swallow, but it's the truth, and you just got to get to it. You got to keep with it, okay, Libra? Underneath the tower, you've got judgment once again. Now, this is a situation, for some of you, you're dealing with a situation, a relationship, a partnership in which it's time for you to see, it's really time for you to see the truth. And the truth here has nothing to do with any sort of bias. It's literally seeing things, I'm definitely seeing a King of Swords energy here, but it's seeing things as they truly are and being able to rise above it, heal from it, resurrect from it, okay? Underneath judgment, you have the King of Wands. And under the King of Wands, you got the world. Now, um, I'm getting a few things from this King of Wands energy. First of all, this could be the person that you're uh, dealing with. They could really be fairly narcissistic. Um, maybe a gaslighter in, in terms, in some ways. This, you, but you're, I think you're really seeing the truth about this person. But the biggest thing, also, you could be dealing with a Leo. Or maybe another fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius. There's also Scorpio energy in this tower. But also with the tower, you could be dealing with an Aries because the tower is ruled by Mars and so is Aries. But the biggest message I'm getting here between the tower, judgment, and the king of wands and the world is you coming out of this on top. Stronger, better, bolder, much more of a badass than you may have ever been in your life. Confident, secure, understanding who you are, understanding what you want and what it takes to get there. Not being afraid to go after it, but also not being afraid to bide your time. This is who you're becoming out of all this mess. So like I said, this is serving a purpose. This is for your own betterment, okay? So getting into the rest of your reading here, Libra, you could look at this as first half, second half of your reading, or you could look at it as first half, second half of your month. Do whatever resonates best for you. Just keep in mind, time is an illusion and energies are fluid. Yes? Here we go. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Virgo. Uh, not, not Virgo, Libra. Sorry, I just did the Virgo reading talking about Libra. But actually, you might be a Virgo legal, Libra cusper. You might have Virgo in your chart somewhere. Um, but there's already some energies that are kind of resonating with 
the Virgo reading and actually kind of the Leo reading, it's weird. And you do have Leo right here. So maybe if you have Leo in your chart, that might resonate well with you or something like that. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But with first set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, you have, yeah, the Two of Swords. You're indecisive. You don't quite know which way to go. But that's okay because it still kind of feels like some of this dust may need to settle from the tower. I, I Literally, I feel like what's happening here or what's happened here, what's transpired is that the, tr the, the angel appeared and blew the trumpet, blew the horn, sounded the, sounded the alarm, woke people up, and that cr catalyzed the tower moment. And now you're kind of like, oh shit, what do I do? But also, some of this feels like that Libra energy of just wanting to keep the balance and not wanting to up, up, upset people, not wanting to hurt people. Oh, but are you hurting yourself in the process, Libra? Some of you are, is what I'm hearing. Two of Swords is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, you're holding on for dear life, Libra. You don't want to upset the balance. But at some point, you're going to have to. You're going to if you're gonna do what's right for you, at some point you're gonna have to let this go and choose. And also choose to take action, King of Wands, in the direction of what is best for you. Now for some of you, you don't wanna let this relationship go because you might feel like this is the end all be all. I don't know. Maybe you're an individual, a man or a woman of a certain age, whatever that means, and you think your time is up. You're no longer a spring chicken. Man, get the F up out of here with that. And I know it's easier said than done, easier said than done for me. I'm only 32. What not, whatever. Look, look. Whatever you believe about yourself is what you're going to create. And I'm here to tell you in that pre shuffle, that Empress was saying very strongly to me that this is not the end for you. You have plenty of opportunities out there. You have the abundance of the universe at your disposal, okay? Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading, you've got the Knight of Cups. My, 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 isn't this someone coming in to wet your whistle? <laughs> it could be, it absolutely could be. So we were, we were literally just talking about that, Libra. So maybe someone could be coming in down the pipeline for you once, you, once the dust really settles, once your, your path is clear, and once you made a decision to let something go, you could be opening yourself up to a brand new love. Knight of Cups. I'm feeling for some of you, this is someone that could have been watching you for some time because it's the Knight of Cups, it's not the page. So it's, it's progressed somehow. Maybe this, maybe, maybe they haven't necessarily been watching you specifically, but maybe they've been through maybe a similar experience that's helped them evolve or grow in some way, and now they can show up in a more responsible manner than just like the page. But also, Libra, this is you being unconditionally loving towards yourself, being vulnerable, emotionally vulnerable, living from your heart center, living with, from a place of having your heart on your sleeve. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. Being emotionally available, I am picking up here. Knight of Cups is coupled with the Two of Pentacles now. Very interesting. I, for some reason, I'm getting, I'm getting a specific message for some of you that there is someone that could be coming forward in the near future, coming towards you, that's really about having a balance. Reciprocity, the balance between give and take. And I'm kind of seeing specifically someone that actually just wants to share a life with someone else. And they may have, they may be good and stable on their own and now they just want someone to share it with, which would be matching your energy if that's where you are. But first you gotta let the dust settle and you gotta get out of this shit you're in, okay? But now also, with the Knight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, this is very much a self-care energy. You keeping the balance here while also still caring for yourself. That's what really needs to happen throughout this circumstance, throughout this situation, okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Libra, you have oh, the Four of Cups again. Yeah, dealing with the lost, dealing with the loss, dealing with the missed opportunity, dealing with the unrequited love, dealing with the boredom maybe. 
That is the hardest thing for whomever I am channeling for right now, dealing with the dissatisfaction. I'm not getting exactly what you wanted, but you see, the universe is handing you a cup here, but it's almost as if, oh, no, I don't want that. Well, is it what you need right now, though? Yeah, most likely. Okay? I just feel very strongly that the message for whomever I'm channeling for right now is you got to get through this first before you can have that happily ever after. Because if you were to try and create, well, actually, you did try to create that happily ever after, and it didn't work because it wasn't balanced. So what this is serving is to get you to a place where you are balanced and good within yourself, and then you can actually cultivate that, create that happily ever after that you're desiring. Four of Cups is coupled with, oh, the King of Cups. Woo! There is the king to that queen that came out in your pre-shuffle. Could be dealing with a Scorpio again or another water sign, Pis Pisces or Cancer. Hmm. This is interesting. I feel like there is, in fact, someone around someone here that could have, in fact, been watching you but it's not exactly like the universe is trying to help this person come in, but you're like, oh, that's not what I want. Are you being a little bit of a brat, Libra? I kind of feel like the universe is trying to give you what you're asking for. For some of you, that's not for everybody. For others of you, this is the, this, this is the disappointment in not having that king of cups to your queen of cups. But I keep hearing someone's on the horizon. This King of Cups could actually be coming towards you, just not in the form that you originally thought. Because it might be that the person that you originally thought was kind of a narcissist or was just not a, well, not a healthy individual, might have been a little bit abusive, might have been focused on things that were not in alignment with you. That could be the energy in which it's keeping you attached here, keeping you from letting go. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Libra, you have strength again. And strength was the first card that came out in your, in your pre-shuffle. You've got to find the inner strength. But also, this is helping you build that inner strength. I feel like for some of you, you might have rushed into this relationship. Uh, mainly if you did, it was because you really felt a very strong connection. But you might have misunderstood. No, no. You're misunderstanding now what that truth of co the connection is. The truth of that connection is to help you fortify yourself, to help you build up stronger and better so that you really can have the love or relationship that you're looking for. This, having that inner strength, to, 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 to tame the beast and say, okay, yes, I'm feeling all this, but let's take it one step at a time. Let's not run in, rush into this. That's what you're cultivating right now, Libra, okay? Strength is coupled with the Ace of Swords again. My goodness. Truth, honesty, clarity, seeing things exactly as they are. But also being able to communicate and say, look here, Mr. Man or Mrs., I know I feel a lot for you. I know we feel a lot for each other. But let's call a spade a spade. What can we offer each other right now? What do we even want moving forward in our lives? Before we get lost in the moment, let's talk about this. Let's communicate about it first. That's what you're learning about, Libra. That's the truth and clarity and honesty that's coming forward towards you, that's helping you Fortify yourself and cultivate this inner strength, okay? Okay, getting into the second half of your reading here, Libra, Libra, first set of surrounding energies. You got the Page of Pentacles. There goes that reset button, starting anew, starting afresh, needing to find your footing. Okay, but that's a good thing because you've risen above. You've come to the next 
phase in your life, you you learn something, you, you're going through a transformation or you have transformed and now you're just learning to walk in this new energetic vibration. What I'm also hearing is you're struggling for your free, you're struggling for your freedom or you're fighting for your freedom somehow. Okay, take that as it resonates. Page of Pentacles is coupled with the Three of Swords. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Fighting for freedom, struggling for freedom, struggling to regain your independence through this heartbreak. Now, also, what the Three of Pentacles is saying with the, with the, 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 um, I'm sorry, the Three of Swords, what the Three of Swords is saying with the, not with the Page of Pentacles is this heartbreak that you are experiencing is absolutely pushing you into this new level, okay? All right. Second set of surrounding energies in, in the second half of your reading here, Libra, you have the Two of Cups. Mm. I keep hearing, well, I just heard divine partnership is on its way. But in order for you to get there, Libra, you've got to have this, this partnership within yourself. Masculine and feminine, all right? Two of Cups is coupled with the Four of Wands. I told you, it's coming, all right? But you've got to get solid. You've got to get grounded within yourself. You've got to solidify your own masculine and feminine foundation within in order to align with that individual that's going to give you the under, con unconditional love you deserve, quite frankly, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Libra, you have, there's the moon again, the fear, the anxiety, the what ifs, the, the maybe even not feeling like you can't trust your intuition, being in this dark night of the soul. Oof. But the dark night of the soul is a perfect breeding ground for this union and balance within. Okay. The moon is coupled with, the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, out of darkness springs life. You plant a seed in the ground and it's completely devoured of light. But then over time, it breaks free and gives rise to something new. So if some of whomever of you are in this dark night of the soul energy, don't stress. Just trust and let the universe guide you because something brand new is absolutely coming out of this, Libra, okay? Oof. Ah, I know that's right. Closing message or a potential outcome for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading. Five of Wands. All right. Inner conflict, though. There is a lot of negative self-talk here, Libra. You got to let that go. Stand fast in your tradition, your, your convictions. I don't know if you can hear my stomach growling, but anyway, if you can, I apologize. But stand fast in your convictions and what you know to be true about yourself and what you truly desire, all right? And if you're having trouble with that, allow this, allow this, whatever's happening to illuminate this for you. Now, the Five of Wands can also talk about the chaos of creation. Okay. Five of Wands is coupled with, whoa, hey now, the King of Swords. This is definitely a time for you to just sit back and allow things to unfold as they will, Libra. All right, officially this is Aquarian energy, but this could be you. I do kind of feel like this is you, just watching the chaos happen around you or maybe even watching the chaos in your head happening around you. I really just want to tell you to just allow it to settle because this dust needs to settle, okay, from the tower moment. Okay. But anyway, this is, this is good, Libra. I know it's painful. I know it sucks. Dark nights of the soul, yeah, they are not cute. In no way, shape, or form are they even remotely cute. But you know what? They do serve a purpose. Death and rebirth. All right? All right, Libra. 
Let's get you your oracle guidance for the month of August 2019. Ah, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Best message, please, spirit, for my Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, there. There she blows. Okay, card number 35, Conscious Connection. Okay. Conscious connections. There is a call for more intimacy in your immediate relationships. There is an opening for heart-to-heart -heart communication that can salvage and restore a broken relationship or friendship if you are willing to honor your differences and look to what unites you. Sometimes it is hard to bear the differences between one another. One person may be willing to live life in high definition, while another may prefer to live more vicariously until they have the confidence to step onto the center stage of their own life story. We are not here to judge each other, just to love, to be loved, and to let go of those that cannot accept us as we open up to those who can. This oracle brings guidance for you to trust in the sanctity of the connections in your life. If you have asked to experience a more sacred connection with people who truly, quote, get you and want to play life with you rather than at odds with or against you, then this oracle is confirmation that this manifestation is on its way to you now. It may or may not be obvi obvious at first, but kindred spirits are going to enter your life to help you connect with your deeper feelings and creativity. They will give wings to your inspirational ideas and big dreams. If you have been asking for healing in your current friendships or other immediate relationships, know that this can happen through your willingness to express your true feelings and allow the situation to, to either fall apart or come together according to the greater workings of life. Sometimes webs that have joined people together are broken and that is appropriate as people may outgrow what once held them together. Sometimes the ties that bind us together are so strong that they are able to withstand a great deal of pressure and still remain intact. The webs of connection between us will sever or sustain based on the higher wisdom of life itself. Either way, healing happens in the resolution of our feelings and we are once again able to feel free, forgive, and be ready to move on to the next stage of relating either with a person who has been in connection with us for a time or with someone new. This oracle asks you to remain open to healing connections and to allow people to be close to you. Trust in the process that draws people in and out of your life. Resist nothing and seek wisdom in all. So there you have it, Libra. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. If you would like a look at it, your personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of September. Y'all, yeah? take care. Mwah! Bye.